hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today what I'm going to do is provide you with um, a Christmas tree decorating video so we already have all the materials so I'm just gonna basically show you guys how to fill in your Christmas tree so you know sometimes when you put your Christmas tree you put all the ornaments on there and then you just notice that there's a couple of gaps in between the tree and you just want to make it a little bit more extravagant and over the top that's what I'm gonna do today I'm just gonna show you how to make your Christmas tree stand out more and just make it even more fabulous than what it already is so I hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and stay tuned okay you guys welcome back so what I'm going to do now is show you the extra things that I got to make our Christmas tree pop even more. So as you can see, we have these special ornaments on there. And I believe we got these sometime last year. And we just wanted to get things that were out of the box. So I got this little poodle. And I wanted to do pink and blue. And basically the pink is to represent me, the woman of the house, and then the blue is to represent the man of the house. So me and my fiance both, we just came together and picked out these ornaments and just wanted to put a tree that represents me and him. So we have the blue sheath shell. We have the pink butterfly. And this is actually one of my favorites, the pink sucker. Look how adorable that is. And we have the pink horse right here. But she fell off, but we'll put her back on. <laughs> we also have one of my very favorites, which is the ballet slippers right here. So you definitely want to get ornaments that stand out. And just think about it like this too. These are ornaments that you can have with you for the rest of your life. Another good ornament was the pink ball. And then I've had these angel wings for a couple of years now. fell off that's okay another one of my favorites would be the sea turtle look how cute that is so these are the extra things that I got to put on the tree because even though I love the tree I was like you know what I really want it to pop even more so I got these bowls from Family Dollar for just one dollar and I got nine of them and then I got I thought I had four but apparently I don't so I have three of these and what you need when you get these you, you're gonna need those tree you're gonna need the little tree um, I'll show you what they look like hold on So you need these little tree things right here to put these on. So total all together, these are the things that I got. And as you can see, there are some gaps in the Christmas tree and it's beautiful, but we want to make it even more extravagant <laughs> because that's just how we do it over here. We're very glam. We're very over the top. So let's make it do what it do. So the first thing I'm going to do I think I want to just start by putting the little bows on there. And when I saw these, I was like, oh my God, these are so adorable. I cannot pass these up. So 
So as you can see, you gotta kinda untie them. And then when you untie them, do not get rid of this. Because this is the part that we're gonna use to put on the tree. I know normally we throw these little things away, but we definitely wanna keep them. So these are just so adorable. Look at these, look how nice they are. That's gonna make our Christmas tree pop for sure. So technically you don't even need these garland ties because you got the little ties on the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and just have my fiance open these up for me. Welcome, baby. <laughs> okay, another thing too, I end up finding was some extra ornaments as well. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put these ornaments on the tree. And we got these from Walmart. You can find them and for $5. They're in a round jar. And yeah, you can just get them in all different colors. that um, my fiance said when he saw the tree. He was like, it's real pretty, but I'm seeing a whole lot of gaps on the tree. So we need to make it a little bit more fuller. And we both agreed. We were like, you know what? Yes, let's make this tree pop more. And what I normally do when I decorate a tree and I'm using multiple colors, I just try to spread the colors out throughout the tree. Because you don't want to have too much pink in one area, but then you also don't want to have too much blue. You want to have a variety of colors so everything can pop. And then with the specialty ornaments like this, you want to kind of put those in the front and center because those are the showstoppers. <laughs> So we definitely want those to be seen. I would not put those in the back of the tree because you definitely want to showcase them. Okay, you guys, I'm all finished adding more ornaments to the tree. So I would say it looks much better, <laughs> but we still want to make it pop even more. Okay, so here's our six glitter bowls that we're going to go ahead and add. Some of them will fall off. 
And these little seams on the back, the little ties, they are kind of tricky. So just be careful with them. So I put one in the center. We have so many things on this tree. Yes, I love the way it's turning out. It looks, <laughs> it's beautiful. It looks exactly what I thought it would look like. A lot more over the top, which is what we were going for. together even if you have to move some of the ornaments around that's what I would suggest doing So good thing, at first I thought I didn't have enough bowls, but good thing I only got six <laughs> because we really don't need too much more. So I'm trying to just put mainly all of them in the front. Don't worry, you guys. I am going to give you a close-up of the whole tree once we're finished. So I would say <laughs> that definitely added that extra umph that we were looking for. So this was totally a success. So now I just have three of these left. So you do actually need the garland ties because you're gonna use those garland ties to tie these on there. So again, I'm just gonna try to fill in the gaps. I would definitely say these little things are not that easy to put on, but we're gonna make it work. <laughs> so when you tie them on there, just kind of try, try tying them on there tight so that they don't fall off. So what you wanna do is just take one of these and then just wrap it around like this. And then tie this part on the tree. You can actually wrap it around there twice just to make it more secure. And 
if some of the ornaments fall off, that's okay. Just pick them up and put them back on here. finish you guys. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Hey everybody, so I think that definitely was a success. As you can see, I did get glitter all over my face, but I am very, very proud of the way the tree turned out. I feel like it's very glam and extravagant, which was exactly what we were going for. And I can't wait to show you guys the final result. This is, I feel like by far, one of the best trees that I've ever decorated, so. I hope you guys can take my tips and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the description box and I hope you guys have a happy holiday and a wonderful new year so here's the final result of the Christmas tree I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget that I love you okay faith family so this is the final result of our Christmas tree. <laughs> so it turned out absolutely amazing. Oh my God. It's beyond anything that I could have ever thought of. And this is so beautiful. So as you, when I first showed you guys the tree, there were a lot of gaps in it. And it just seemed like it was missing that extra bit of glam. So we added the ribbons to it. These are the ones that we added. We added the little tree stumps. And look how amazing it looks. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. So the only thing I would have did, it was probably bought more bowls just so I could put the bowls in, um, in the back of the tree as well. Because as you can see, I only had six of them. So I would say if you're going to do this idea, definitely you need maybe 12 total. So if I can go back to another family dollar and try to find six more bowls or maybe order on Amazon, that would be perfect for this tree. Because as you can see, we don't have any in the back, but we're going to make it work. So look at our extra ornaments. I'm going to show you the little poodle, the butterfly. <laughs> Our ballet slippers, our angel wings. What else do we have in, on here? Our little car, we have our turtle dove. We have our, well, just our turtle, sorry. Then we have our unicorn right there. We have our butterflies. We have our little moose right there. We have our crown for the king. We have our seashell. And then we have our blue ornament right there. And our pink ornament right there. And then last but not least, which is my favorite ornament, we have the pink sucker. And then, of course, we cannot forget the beautiful angel. I've had her for about five years. And I believe I got her from at home for $20 and she was the last one on the shelf. So, you know, she's been through a lot. We've had to taper and glue her up, but she is an amazing addition to this beautiful tree. So I'm gonna just give you guys one quick close up again, and then we'll end the video.
All right, you guys. I think that concludes our video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys were able to use some of these ideas, just leave a comment below and let me know how your tree turned out. And if you want to send me pictures, I'll put a link with my Facebook down below or my Instagram. And then you guys can send me pictures of your Christmas tree because I would love to see how they turned out. All right. And if you guys have, um, I, well, I think that concludes the video, you guys. I hope you have a happy holiday, a wonderful new year. God bless you, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.